Howdy everybody, this is Josh coming to you from the uh, Dinosaur Museum at Brigham Young University. This is in the museum, this is storage and where I work, that's my office. So, um, I'm really excited today because I have my first two ever uh, pictures in an exhibit. And I'm on my way out, about to clock out, but I'm just going to run by these real quick. Here's the lab, this is my friend who's been working, uh, going away at some dinosaur bones. Now the, uh, here, let me clock out real quick. Um, let's see if there's any lines to show you this first one. Alright, so, uh, Pronathodon. We're actually going to have a full-scale mount of him pretty soon. He is a sea-going uh, mosasaur, about 35 feet long. He's got little teeth on the uh, inside of his throat there, like a like a python, if you can see in there. So, if these ones don't finish you off, these ones are going to make sure that you don't escape, that you go down the gullet. And uh, there he is, there is Bones. And here's my illustration. Uh, so, moving on to the next one. This one I'm actually really extremely excited about. Oh, the Rex. I'm really extremely excited about this one because it's actually never ever been illustrated before. So, um, gosh, you can't see. Are there lights? Lights, 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 lights. Aha! Okay. The lights have been found. This is a brand new dinosaur, hasn't been named yet, but he's uh, related to Iguanodon like Aladar from uh, the movie Dinosaur, except for his, his spines are a lot bigger. So he had kind of a, a fin along his back. There's my illustration. First time this puppy has ever been illustrated, like ever. So I am pumped. Tell you what. And last one. Oh, I'm, there's the Utah Raptor. I'm gonna get him soon as well. So more to come, kids. Uh, last guy is actually going to be uh, replacing this painting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Dunkelosteus. As you walk in the doors of the museum, he's about to eat you. Ah. He is what's called a placoderm. He's probably about 20 feet long. He was an ancient armored fish. They were the people that, not the people, the fish, I guess, that invented Jaws. Uh, not the movie, but the anatomical component of Jaws. Nobody had Jaws before these guys, so we owe them a lot. Uh, they're the first guys who started biting stuff instead of just sucking stuff in. And this guy actually had the uh, second, uh, the second strongest bite force out of any creature ever. He, uh, they've done computer models that calculated that it was 11,000 pounds per square inch, and he would open his mouth so fast, and in the 50th of a second, that it would create a vacuum and actually stu suck stuff in, like exactly like that. I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, for those of you who aren't paying attention, you can rewind. But um, this is what I got so far on him. Well, uh, this concludes. Uh, this concludes. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Bye.